Gaga. From Gaga, get in. You did such a good okay. job the first time you came back. <laughs> It was, it, was a, it was a great, great morning, and uh, it's different than seeing them on, uh, on video. A family whose dad is serving in Afghanistan this Christmas decided to welcome home other soldiers, lucky enough to make it home for the holiday. But the best present of all was making his way down the jetway. <laughs> First Lieutenant Kenyon Nelson of the Army Reserves has been deployed in Afghanistan since February, but his commanding officer saw to it that he made it home before Christmas. And his wife saw to it that the kids had no idea. Nelson spending his first moments with the kids he hadn't seen in nearly a year. 16-year-old Savion, 13-year-old Ajani in tears, and a long hug for the youngest, 9-year-old Kadir. You want to roll her over so she doesn't get mad in her? Roll her over so she doesn't get mad. Which one? Oh, Olivia. Oh. Who's getting and, mad? Anna's like, I'm rolling over too. <laughs> Two babies. Just call me Angel in the morning, babe. Close the door.
pictures. I'm recording. <laughs> My name is Keith Robinson. I'm a captain in the United States Army, and I'm here on Columbia University's campus to uh, see my daughter graduate. Her name is Ruby Danielle Robinson, and I'm very proud of her. My daughter does not know I'm coming today, so she's going to be very surprised when, I, when she sees me. Um, we've gone through, uh, back and forth, and I had to let her know that it wasn't possible for me to be here because up to about two weeks ago, it didn't look like this was going to happen. So we started juggling things, and I got with my general, and he got me out as fast as possible. And, you know, God is good in so many ways. It's like every stop along the way, they were like, can you leave in 15 minutes? And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can leave in 15 minutes. So, no, she didn't know that I was going. She's going to be very surprised when I see her. Congratulations, Chuck Lady. <laughs> So proud of you. I love you so much. To have him here in the flesh means so much to me. I didn't expect it at all. I didn't think it was possible, so I'm so happy about it. To have your parents at your graduation is a big thing. We talked uh, about two uh, about two weeks ago and I think we came to the conclusion that I wasn't going to make it. And then about a week ago, uh, when uh, my general started, went to work and started trying to make this happen for me, everything happened really fast. And, you know, a 14 and a half hour flight from Kuwait to DC, another three and a half hours to Denver. Uh, the next day, turn around and fly back here. I mean, I haven't had time to stop and think about it myself. But when I saw her, it was like, oh, it was all worth it. I really didn't expect him to be there. And I was kind of upset about that, but I knew he had other duties to do um, in Afghanistan. So when he came, I was so excited. You got a smile. <laughs>
I told you we had it covered. Good job. You're <laughs> awesome. Oh. <laughs> oh, we know how to do this. That's great. Here you go, breathe. <laughs> go, Zach. Woo! <laughs> Pierce County Parks and Recreation recently held the No Sun Fun Run, where for one girl, she was set up for the surprise of a lifetime. Megan Hutton has more. 300 runners arrived thinking this race would be like any other. Sign in, get your number, and wait. Even the weather was perfect for the No Sun Fun Run. But in the crowd was a 14-year-old girl who didn't know something special was about to happen. And it all started with a phone call. We've got a really great surprise. Um, you know, she doesn't know her mom's coming in. Can you help us? And I was like, of course we can. Keep your eye on Kelsey in the red sweatshirt. The race got off without a hitch as runners wound their way around Heritage Recreation Center in Puyallup. If you ask Kelsey's guardian, she was more excited for the race to be over. This is our fourth deployment as a family, and Kelsey's been with us for the last year, and uh, it was just a way to end her year with us and surprise her and show her how much we love her. I am here to um, surprise my daughter. Just returned from Afghanistan. After runners crossed the finish line, a one-year deployment would no longer separate this mom and daughter. I've got the best kid in the world, and I just cannot wait to see her. Can I get Kelsey Dixon up here for a sec? We found something out on the trail for you. Little did Kelsey know that during the award ceremony, there was a special award waiting just for her. <laughs> A hug can be so powerful. No words are needed when you haven't seen your mom in so long, and you hoped she would come home safe. And you can tell Jennifer is surprised by how much her daughter has changed. Awesome. Short. <laughs> yeah. So we're like the same height here. Megan Hutton, Pierce County News. Hi, Emmett. Come on. Let's go outside. <laughs> I think he knows. Sit. 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 Oh, <laughs> he's very excited. How you doing? I think he remembers How you. you. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> oh. You look great. Oh. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your coat. Mm -hmm. And we're done. <laughs> <laughs>